a look at Loungefly. Hey everyone, it's Tiff, and on this week's episode of A Look at Loungefly, we're gonna talk about our cosplay mini backpacks. Our cosplay backpacks are when we take the entirety of the bag and really transform it into the character as much as possible. And the Wreck-It Ralph bag is a really great example of some of the cool stuff that we can do. The top of our Wreck-It Ralph bag really brings in all of the details of Ralph's face through these 3D appliques. The front pocket has gotta be the coolest part of this bag because we have so many mixed elements here to really bring him to life. His overalls have a real buckle we have a fabric texture for the fabric of the overalls themselves, and we even have some real buttons. And the all over print of this bag brings in his shirt that he wears under his overalls, all the way to the back that has his signature catchphrase, I'm gonna wreck it. And then we have our Fix It Felix wallet, a really fun contrasting pair where you get to wear both of the characters. We have Felix's face here on the front, nice and big here in the middle with those same 3D appliques, and just like Ralph, his own catchphrase on the back, I can fix it. We also like to continue the story in the lining. So in this collection, the lining features the 8-bit version of Ralph and Felix from the video game itself. For you old school Disney fans like myself, we have this super adorable, exclusive Dumbo cosplay mini backpack. Just like our Wreck-It Ralph backpack, we wanted to put as much of Dumbo as possible into this bag starting with these oversized ears, so big, just like Dumbo, they had to go off of the bag. He's topped off with a 3D applique of his hat, and we changed the design of the front pocket so we can fit more of his face on here, just looking so, so cute and we have a 3D ruffle to give him just a little bit more flair. We can't forget the back hit and the Dumbo bag features little Timothy Mouse that says, embrace what makes you different. And last but not least, it's Dumbo's 80th anniversary and we decided to celebrate that in the lining itself. If you love cosplay backpacks like these, head to loungefly.com because we might have your favorite character right now. My name's Tiff, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode and we'll see you again next time. Funko Fun TV. Let's play Funko Games. Hello gamers and welcome to this week's episode of Let's Play Funko Games. I'm Adam and tonight is your first shift as the new nighttime security guard at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria in Five Nights at Freddy's Survive Till 6 AM. This is a one to two player survival horror game where you play the role of the security guard in the safety of your office, monitoring the security cameras throughout the restaurant. You're gonna have to make crucial decisions whether or not you use your limited power resources to turn on lights, close doors, and try to keep the animatronics out of your office. If they ever reach your office, they think that you're an animatronic that got out of their suit and they're gonna try to stuff you in. Spoiler alert, that's gonna hurt. To set up the game, you're gonna divide the deck of cards into four separate decks. Each round starts with the clock progressing one step closer to 6 a.m. when your shift is over. Then you check all the cameras. You do that by revealing the top card of each deck. If you ever find an animatronic on your camera, you also add an additional card directly below them. Now it's time for the crucial decisions. Do you react to what you're seeing on the camera or do you let the threat progress closer toward you? There are five types of cards that you might see on your camera. If it's an empty room card, nothing to do. You're gonna end up discarding that to your office. There are two kinds of what was that cards, which means you kind of saw something on the camera, but you're not sure. If you don't choose to react to it, then you're either going to add an additional card below the card that you didn't react to, or you take the top card of that deck and move it without looking at it to the next deck closer to the office hoping that it's not one of the animatronics. There's also extra power depletion cards. When you choose to react to a card, you're gonna roll the power die. Now, if an animatronic ever makes it into the office, you lose in a horrific, gross, ugly death. However, if you can keep all of the animatronics at bay, 
all the way until your shift ends at 6 a.m., you have survived the night and you win the game. That is Five Nights at Freddy's Survive Till 6 a.m. Hopefully you've made it this far. If you have, I'm Adam, and until next week, let's play. What was that?